Hey everyone, this is Nintendo Prime. If you enjoy Nintendo news, discussion, uh, opinions, debates, uh, you definitely want to drop a like and subscribe to the channel. I would greatly appreciate that. Now let's get into today's story. And I want to warn you right off the bat, this is potentially severe spoilers for the Super Mario movie. This will be including almost the entire plot line, not like specific things said by the characters, but it'll have the entire plot line. And all of this comes courtesy of Jeff Grubb. Uh, and Jeff Grubb obviously is a video game journalist, works for, I think, Venture Beat uh, on the Games Beat section and also works at Giant Bomb. So, uh, you know, he's been a source on several things in the past. And this information appears to have been coming from people who actually saw a pre-screening. So this would be a test audience, basically. Uh, that that would have seen it, and that seems to be where it's coming from. We are calling this a rumor because obviously none of this is verifiable. This is just, hey, do we believe what Jeff Grubb is saying or not? That is up to you guys. But we're going to get right into this because we have a full breakdown of it by NintendoEverything.com, so credit to them for that, and let's just jump right in. And as you say, rumor of the Super Mario Bros. animated movie details leak. Again, spoilerific. Don't be watching if you don't want uh, to be spoiled. So the Super Mario Bros. anime movie was announced years ago, yet there's very little that we actually know besides the main cast obviously being confirmed. Here's the full breakdown of the alleged details below. And again, this information is a bit dubious, but Games Beat Jeff Grubb, who has a history of leaking news pertaining to games, seems to think it could be legitimate and may have come from audience testing. Here's the details. So these are general before we get to the plot. Uh, so these details, I think, would be stuff that I don't think you would consider a spoiler. Uh, it'll have a cartoonish art style full of life and color. It has a similar look to Hotel Transylvania. Uh, the humor is very punny such meta, but there's no dabbing or fart jokes. Uh, Mario and Luigi have slight redesigns, starting off with more worn and dusty suits with a muted color scheme. Mario starts off with a bluish purple shirt instead of brown. Luigi has big green overhauls and a bluish purple shirt. Both switch over to their more iconic colors later in the movie. Mario and Luigi have Brooklyn accents. I guess I'm not too surprised about that. DK Jr., Pauline, and Toadsworth are rumored to appear. Daisy is name-dropped, although name-dropped doesn't mean appeared. Female Toads are in the movie. The villainous character Spike shows up at the beginning and then at the end to congratulate them. Spike is a greedy slash bossy character. Goombas, Koopas, Hammer Bros, Bullet Bills, and their towers, Bonsai Bills, Lakitos, Ninjis, and Fuzis are in the movie. So uh, this is stuff that I would say just general details. Now we get into the super spoilerific stuff. If you want to click off, this is done click off. You don't want the plot ruined. Uh, but we're going to go over this anyways and have a discussion after. All right, so here's the plot. Uh, begins with Charles Martinet narration as he goes through the different jobs Mario has had before joining the Wrecking Crew. He fights Donkey Kong and saves Mario in the real world, which is still an animated world called New Dino City. Fight apparently choreographed and well, uh, well and fast paced. Mario gets the golden hammer in the fight. Mario is famous in the present time. After hearing re uh, reports of gorillas and turtles fighting, he goes into the sewers to investigate. There's lots of gorillas underground, and some are partying, others are playing drums. Mario runs into an older, cranky Donkey Kong, and he tries to communicate but can't since he can't speak gorilla. Both end up falling through a pipe into the Mushroom Kingdom. First song in the movie has Bowser singing, and we see his younger years, plus his desire to take over the kingdom. Bowser then kidnaps Princess Peach, surprise, surprise, uh, blows up Mushroom Kingdom, and heads to his ship. Mario and Captain Toad go on a journey to stop Bowser. The second song is about plumbing. Luigi is worried since Mario has been gone for a while and investigates the sewers. He ends up in the Mushroom Kingdom, specifically the Forbidden Forest, and meets Yoshi. Mario fights Bowser and is defeated. Kamek drops Mario off the ship into the Forbidden Forest, and he meets up with Luigi and Yoshi. They get new costumes with their iconic colors and go back to Bowser's castle. Eventually, they encounter three Bowser clones that mostly tell jokes and shapeshift into a gross combination of enemies after being defeated. Before the final battle, there's a song where essentially everyone sings, including Toads singing about saving the princess, Mario and Luigi about not losing hope, and Bowser and Peach argue to the beat of the song. Kamek gives Bowser a mushroom, which causes him to grow. Bowser chases Mario and Luigi through a pipe maze across different locations, such as the desert, ocean, forest, and cloudy area. The fire flower and superstar power-ups appear during this, but not anywhere else. 
Yoshi fights with Kamek since they have some history. Kamek uses his wand to alter the environment and such. In the last bit of the chase, uh, it has them tricking Bowser to go to the last pipe and end up in his own lava pit. Mario decides to start up a plumbing service in the Mushroom Kingdom, and the post credits as a scene with Bowser's skeleton. So skeleton Bowser, as we have seen before. Again, Nintendo and Illumination are the ones working on this, and uh, this is the video, we'll link this below, from Giant Bob where uh, he does the grub snacks and he actually talks about all of this. So my general thoughts are, I think the plot line is definitely playing it safe, which I, I expected it to be a fairly safe plot line that's very prototypical Mario. And what I find interesting is even despite reading all those various plot points and the songs and everything that happens, it doesn't actually make me want to see the movie any less because I want to know how it all comes together. I want to know how the voice acting is. I want to know how the characters interact with each other. I really want to know how this works because honestly, you could tell me this is the plot line to the next Mario game and I would go, okay, that's cool, but what makes Mario is all the things that happen in between. And I feel like that's the same thing with this movie. This plot line is very, very Mario-esque. Not really surprised. So now I want to know, the, I want to hear the jokes, I want to hear the interactions, I want to see everything, I want to see it come together, I want to see the colors pop, the changing of costumes. So again, we don't know if any of this is true, but if it is, cool. Now some people have speculated that, you know, hey, maybe this didn't go over well, and this is why they delayed the movie. I don't really think that's the case. I think there's something else at play behind the scenes. We'll talk more about that maybe later. But uh, yeah, right now, I think this is actually a really good direction uh, for the movie, and I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy, at least, with what we're hearing here. And the Brooklyn accents, to me, make sense. This was a similar thing they tried doing with the original Mario movie back in the day. Uh, which had its own issues, at least in terms of reaching that critical mass popularity that many people wanted to hit. So I don't know. Uh, that, that's just my thoughts on it. Obviously, at this point, I want to hear what you guys have to think about it. Uh, do you like these plot lines? Do you like these details? Uh, do you think this is real? Do you trust Jeff Grubb? That's a whole nother conversation to have. Uh, personally, I think Jeff Grubb never tries to intentionally mislead anybody. Uh, whether or not he actually misleads is, is obviously up to the eye of the beholder. Uh, but yeah, I, I honestly... If this is what the movie is, I like what I'm hearing. That's my general takeaway is I like what I'm hearing. Now I need to see it come together. And the musical numbers will be very interesting. Um, not really surprised there's musical numbers in the game. Music's been part of uh, video games for a long time. And, you know, they, they literally have Jack Black. They weren't going to get away with a movie without Jack Black busting into song at some point. You know how much he loves it uh, with his old band, Tenacious D, and all that. So anyways, guys, you guys let me know what you think about all of this down in the comments below. Again, if you like this news, uh, you, you like the opinions, the thoughts, and all that, you know, hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell icon as well because, hey, you know what? Set it to all notifications so you get notified of every video we make, and I will catch you guys in that next video.